angels and welcome if you're new here we're doing an apartment tour it has taken me yes in fact the two years that I've lived here in order to make this for you but it looks the best it's ever looked so you're getting the best presentation of layout and hopefully you get some home decor inspo or just quells your nosiness <laughs> but is a two bedroom <laughs> You're only getting shown one. The office space just never came to fruition. I really had high hopes for it. A big reason why I'm moving is because I don't need an office space. I never end up using it. It's just a waste of money and space. And that's why I've been a big reason I've been wanting to move is to downsize a little bit. But this was the apartment that got me out to LA. And for that, I'm like the biggest blessing ever. This is what drug me from the clutches of New York City. I love New York too, don't come for me, but it was time for me to leave. Okay, that's enough. Let's just get into it, shall we? This is a corner that if you watch my videos, you probably never really have noticed. I have a side door here, which is the door I ended up using the most because my front door was broken and it just never got fixed. So this is was my in and out door. I kept my broom. Any of my hobby supplies was down here, like my tennis racket, some clay stuff, surfing gear, cycling gear, some just like miscellaneous things that need to be by the door, like kind of like beach stuff, which are the infamous hay crates, the large, which come in handy. Laundry stuff up here. Any like tote bags that I have, this is just where I drop. It's chaotic. The little things, we have like my camera, sunglasses, wads of cash, band-aids, film that needs to be developed, empty perfume bottles that I just like am insisting on getting the very last drop out of. I have a really hard time getting rid of things. I don't know if anyone knows that. You can close this, oh, my shoes are there. I literally don't think I've ever done this, but you can close the door which actually gives such like a different vibe. Why haven't I slept like this to have another layer of protection? Hmm. Okay, and that is gonna feed us right into the kitchen. I did just come up with that. The kitchen, I was starstruck from the beginning. These yellow tiles, just like, just beautiful. Like a kitchen of my dreams. These tiles are just so insane to look at every day. We have some build-ins that I just keep spices and like little products in. Catch all by the stove with like olive oil and stuff. I did take this little trick. I love these from very like, you know, kind of European houses, I forget what they're called. In my last apartment tour, I can't believe I did that. In my last apartment tour, I had it like half shitty rigged hung up and it wasn't even like long enough to cover up what I was trying to cover. This time, it makes a lot more sense. You live and you learn. Oh, I think this is really cute. That just hides my recycling and my trash. These cabinets are very nice. Also, very big. Can I even show you? Um, I like how long or how tall they are. Kind of, but it's very hard for me to reach the stuff that's like past the second shelf, but it's a good amount of storage space. I have kind of like my air fryer and stuff above there. Overall, pretty well-functioning kitchen. I'm still slightly unhappy with like what I chose to put up top here. It never could just come together how I envisioned. It would always look too messy or not choreographed enough like there was just no perfect middle ground so i ended up with just this amazing vase which is from olive atelier they have really good very old french where else do they source from i think they source from greece maybe also um, and then i ended up with like cookbooks over here this you'll recognize i just keep my potatoes and onions in there and they're like french Vintage bowls. This table you may recognize. It's actually kind of all over Pinterest, which one of my friends pointed out to me, which I didn't even realize. It's this beautiful Burlwood table. I brought her all the way from New York. I think such a perfect size for in here. And just so beautiful. I always wanted a Burlwood table like this. I don't think she's gonna make it to my next spot. I don't think I have room for her. This 
bar cart. I don't know why I have to put my face, <laughs> face links everything. One of my favorite finds, Facebook Marketplace. Think like 100 bucks or less maybe. Maybe we paid like 75 for it. And I think it's so cute. Okay, my living room. I love my living room. I think it is beautiful. It definitely has a lot of stuff in it, but a lot of stuff that I really like, so I think that's fine. Actually, there are a couple of my favorite finds in this room. There are three, three big ones. This coffee table was such a spoken into existence coffee table. I just been telling my friend that I really wanted a low, big, giant coffee table. And then I'm driving with her a few days later, this was like a year ago, she spots a co this coffee table on the side of the road for free, just abandoned, sitting there and was like, dude, didn't you just say you wanted a coffee table like that? I'm so excited, so I got it for free. I'm excited because in my next spot, I'll be able to sand it down finally and like refinish it. These chairs over here, I also got from Facebook Marketplace. I'm obsessed with these, they're so beautiful. A little bookshelf that I got for maybe like 40 bucks at a flea market, I think at the Rose Bowl. The couch is from Article. And my stools, look, these stools, they'll be buried with me. They'll be cremated, no, I'm just kidding. They will be passed along to my favorite person, whoever I like most. I haven't decided. So if you want to get on my good side, that's who they're going to be passed along to. I found them for $75 at a random furniture, secondhand furniture shop in Brooklyn. I think they go for like definitely hundreds of dollars. Probably one of my best finds ever. Some guy came into my DMs recently. He says, hey, would you be willing to sell me those stools? I wanna give them to this girl I'm kind of seeing. And I was just shocked. I was like, you think I'm gonna sell you my prized possession to give to a girl you're kind of seeing? Like, at least tell me you're gonna like marry her or something. I don't know, insane, insane behavior. You'll notice also yellow mirror. She is never going anywhere. Hopefully, these chairs I think are so beautiful. I got them. Also, Facebook Marketplace, a store had them custom made, and then I think the store closed, perhaps, or something like that. For some reason, they decided they didn't want them, so I bought them. Those were pricey. Another prized possession is definitely this shelf. I found this this year at the Rose Bowl. a little shaky but that's okay obviously you're seeing you know my love for old wood <laughs> coming out throughout the house I would say that's a pretty consistent theme I love like a very primitive style um, piece of furniture lastly for my favorite picks ever favorite finds ever is this miniature pool table I think there's an actual name for it someone's gonna comment and be annoyed that I don't name it. Snook, snookers, snookies, snooks. I don't know if that's the same game though. I feel like I googled it and it's not exactly the same as miniature pool. I think this is just miniature pool. It folds up so it's pretty easy to transport. It's just like a little table. Honestly it's pretty hard to play. I would say it's one of those games you're playing if you are really bored or highly inebriated. I've done both and it was it was fun both times. This was a tried and failed hanging these on the wall. It comes off really easily. People have been like, oh, like it's earthquakes. Like, what are you doing? I have had two earthquakes here and they haven't fallen off. So that's good. But I loved this idea. I went to Portugal two years ago now and had been there before, whatever. So many old houses in Europe have these on the outside with plants on them. And I was like, that's so cool. I want to do that inside of my house. I think at my next house might be a good Maybe a good comeback story for that theme. Okay, this lamp is haunted. <laughs> um, that was not what I was gonna say, but I do think um, I picked a spirit up with this one. That's okay, she's nice, but it does flicker a lot and there's just something ever since I, I don't know, it's fine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sell because I just don't know if the style super fits in with mine. Lamps are hard for me. 
This is my surfboard. It's my real surfboard. Lucky to have tall ceilings in here so that it fits, so it's easily I can just grab it when I need it. Cowabunga. And then this little lamp that I feel like is more of an outdoor lamp, also one of a very favorite find of mine. So that's pretty much the downstairs. I'm gonna pick these papers up and bring them upstairs. Come along. Okay, and then you'd come upstairs and here's the bathroom. Okay, you're now in the shower. This is my bathroom. I think it's very cute. I really, really, really am gonna miss this tile. It's just so pretty. It's nice to look at. Beautiful purple. You can't, you can't beat old tiling. This is a little acrylic shelf I brought. I got that in New York years ago. It is kind of cracked. I was back home in Colorado for a wedding and I found this in an antique store and it's so cool. I wish to make things with clay that are this cool one day. So enjoy. And then leaving the bathroom, we have a mystery door right here. What's in the said mystery door? I can't tell you. It's a hopeless place. I feel deep shame and embarrassment about <laughs> how poorly it never came together. It's like the chaos of my brain is in there. And once you unleash Pandora's box, there is a door here that you can probably look inside of. It's just linens and products. Okay. Oh, it looks nice in here right now. My bedroom. We're now in another corner of my room. Big bedroom, really gonna miss this room. I recently redid it. I do feel happy about the layout. I think everything kind of has its place now. This was kind of just like dead space over here for a while. And recently I put the stool in the middle and then I was just trying to balance it out. And I think the books actually look really nice here. And then I hung up this very old mirror also, which I think just like makes this corner look better because otherwise it just felt it's like a little unbalanced or something but i think that that was a good conclusion i came with bed is nice my bed is the most important part of my house i love to sleep so i have this floyd bed frame which has come with me a long way you might have noticed that i switched the rugs i have the yellow rug i used to have up here um, and now I took the red and teal rug and put it in my room just to give kind of like a fresh energy. This off of Facebook Marketplace also for 50 bucks. I moved it inside by myself. I truly, sometimes I'm like, I'm a baddie. I move a lot of stuff by myself. I also switched this bed table out. This plant, I killed in cold blood. You know, some go into their bedroom and they sit on their bed and they say, this is where the magic happens. And all I'm gonna say is this, this is where the magic happens. Uh, you guys see this if you watch my videos, I journal, I just have put together a little space, altar of sorts. I think it's nice to like have a place to go to that's like specifically for spirituality. I found this little wood table, another low wood table. I love low, I love low things. Um, I don't know why, but also found this off Facebook Marketplace, 50 bucks or less. Good find and I love it. I literally love it. Um, this Ikea mirror that I've had for so long. I know these went like pretty viral at some point. 
It's a great mirror. It's like the huge one that they have. But I remember debating, should I get the small one or do I get the XL one? I like the XL one. I think it's nice. It's my closet. Yeah, pretty good size closet. I put in some shelving down here. I think that's everything. That is my apartment tour, my little LA life. I feel like I've been so blessed to be here. I love living in LA. Hopefully you got some decor inspo and you enjoyed it. I will see you all so soon in the next video and stay tuned. You maybe already got moving vlogs or you're getting moving vlogs. Okay, see you next time.